Well, despite reports in today's local dailies, Minister for the Environment Earl DeVoe confirmed to ZNS News that petroleum licenses for the Bahamas Petroleum Company have not been renewed. BPC recently posted a release on its website explaining that their licenses were renewed last week Friday, April 27th, and the terms include a commitment to spur spot oil exploration by April 26th of 2013. Arl DeVoe Bunnings has the story. According to the Bahamas Petroleum Company's website, their Bahamas office is located here in Mount Pleasant Village in Western New Providence. Now, when we got here to Mount Pleasant Village Wednesday afternoon, we weren't able to locate any of BPC's offices. We wanted to get a comment from a BPC official on a report that five of their petroleum licenses have been renewed. But we did get a comment from the Minister of the Environment, Earl DeVoe, who outright said that the government has not renewed five of BPC's licenses. Upon receipt of legal advice, this ministry advised BPC that it is presently unable to accept rental fees for the period April 212 to 213, as the government has yet to determine its course of action in connection with license renewal. The ministry also advised that it will not seek to exercise any rights afforded under Clause 41 of the agreement as a result of its inability to accept the said rental fees. Contrary to the stories appearing in today's dailies, BPC's licenses have not been renewed. According to BPC's website, the company submitted payment on April 25th for annual rental of five petroleum licenses, Bain, Cooper, Donaldson, Enius, and Miami. The website also stated that the next license renewal is due April 27, 2015, contingent on the company meeting its drilling and expenditure obligations during the current three-year period. I think this is a clear case where a publicly traded company did an action based on what they reasonably expected and the press picked it up and published it without the company or the press verifying the particulars. In their third renewal, if they have a prospect of finding petroleum, they are required within a year to drill. This law was written quite some time ago. The Bahamas is not in a position to accommodate oil drilling because it doesn't have the regulatory environment to manage it. Oil exploration has become a political issue. As Free National Movement leader Prime Minister Hubert Ingram has said, the next Free National Movement government won't drill oil in the Bahamas. And Progressive Liberal Party leader Perry Christie says his next government will not drill oil without public consent through a national referendum. The Democratic National Alliance issued a statement Wednesday criticizing both major party leaders of not addressing the real issues. Altavis Munnings, Saturnus News.